guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I need to do a July monthly wrap up. And in the month of July, I read 13 books, but I read 13 books total in three different series. So here is my notes, which is actually my bullet journal, but I don't really do anything special in it. I mean, the nicest thing I do is write down my calendar and that's it. I don't do anything that would constitute a video. So let's see here. I was reading the Suki Stackhouse collection and I have read one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine Suki Stackhouse books this month out of the 13 that, or in July, out of the 13 in the series. I have already read two in August and I'm on the last one now. So I read pretty much the entire series last month. I got super stuck on these books. I love them. They are mostly a reread for me. I read all but the last couple. I did not read the books I'm reading right now, the ones I just finished and the one I'm currently reading, I've never read before. So those ones are new to me. But the rest of them I are all rereads. And so they were super fun. They were easy to get through. I could get through like one book every two days unless I was reading hardcore and then I could do one a day. But for the most part, it took me about two to three days to finish each book. They were easy. Those were my mostly physical reads. They weren't actually physical reads. They were all on my Kindle. The only copy that I have of any of them is Dead and Gone. But I have not been, I didn't read this one because I got this in one of those, I got this in that, um, what was it called? Used Books Monthly or something. And it's like, super damaged. So this one's going to be going bye bye. I will put it in the box of stuff that goes to the library. And if somebody wants it from there, that's fine. But I don't need to keep an extremely damaged book that I actually already have a copy of um, in my house. But my copies are all in storage. And so I was reading them all on my Kindle from my library. So I have hundreds of books on my shelves that need to be read. And what did I do? I checked out books from the library and had a reread month. <laughs> okay. Anyways, continue my rereads. I also read Queen of Shadows, Empire of Storms, and Kingdom of Ash last month in July. So not only did I read the Suki Stackhouse books over again, but I also reread the All the Throne of Glass series and finished the last three in July. And then I started Shadow and Bone, which is the first book of the Grisha, the Grisha series, the Grisha World from Lee Bardugo. I didn't read a single new book last month. I read 13 books and every single one of them was a reread. So I don't really have much to say. Um, as far as the Suki books go, if you've never watched True Blood, which is really not an accurate representation of the um, books, which I have also watched the entire True Blood last month. I did part of it for uh, the reading rush and the rest of it was just because I wanted to finish watching it. I watched all seven seasons and they are a total train wreck crap show. And I really wouldn't suggest people read, watch these books, watch these books, watch the show based off these books because only the first couple of seasons are at all similar. And even that they're not similar. They're totally different. Um, but I like the books a lot. They're a lot of fun. They are very paranormal romance. The romance scenes are pretty steamy, but they don't have them in every book. So it kind of depends on how loving and sexual Suki is. And so if Suki's not very loving and sexual, you're not going to get those scenes. But if she's like super randy, you're going to get those scenes. Um, Suki is a telepath as she has a secret to her heritage that she doesn't find out until later on in the series. Um, it is an alternate universe of ours where uh, vampires are exist and they are out of the coffin and um, everybody knows about them there is other supernatural characters as well in there um, there are shapeshifters and wear animals and fairies and goblins and all sorts of stuff that you will get to meet and see throughout the course of the series it's very drama oriented. It always has um, a vein of mystery in them. So they are, uh, Chelly and Harris always writes 
mystery books. So you can just pick any of the books that I've read from her and the series I've read from her so far. And there's, I haven't read all of them, but the vast majority, they're all mystery based. And Suki is the same way. It is a paranormal romance mystery. And so there's always something that happens and you have to figure out what it is. And it usually has like two mysteries that kind of run parallel to each other. And then you'll get like, you'll get the, like the small one and you'll get out um, at one point in time. And then the big one, you'll get at another point in time. So sometimes it's the small one comes first and then the big one comes first, but they all end up wrapping up into a nice little book and you can enjoy the whole thing and everything is explained, but there's always like an underlying tension that keeps the books going forwards. I am on the last book right now and I got a nice big shock from the from book 12 and I'm looking forward to finishing 13, but let's be honest, I have not read today because if I was reading, I wouldn't be filming right now and you guys haven't had a wrap up yet and it's the ninth of the month. So yeah, I needed to make sure I, I was gonna film my unicorn crate anyways, I needed to make sure I did this one also. Um, as far as Throne of Glass goes, I love that series. It's really polarizing. People love it or they hate it. And I am firmly in the love category. It is one of my favorite series. Sarah J. Mass is like my author queen. I adore her. Um, and I will read anything she comes out with. I still haven't read Catwoman yet, but other than that, I read every book that she published in 2018. So I started Throne of Glass for the first time, as well as A Court of Thorns and Roses. And I read both of all those series last year. So the only book that I hadn't read was Catwoman. So far this year, I have again read every book that she's published, except for Catwoman. So I need to finish, I need to do Catwoman this year so I can say I've officially read every single book that she's published this year. Um, but these were all rereads. Last year I read them all for the first time, this year I'm gonna fall a second time. So I'm a little late to the party, but still loving them. Um, assassins and fairies and all that stuff is just, makes me happy. And as far as the um, Shadow and Bone books go, I gave them four stars when I originally read them. I actually like them more the second time through. They are better to me now than they were the first time I read them. But I read Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom earlier in this year or late last year. And I liked them. But I didn't, I forgot bits and pieces of this series. And so I had some holes in my Grisha knowledge that made it not as enjoyable. So my point, my, my idea here is I will go through and reread all of the Grisha series, the Grisha, original Grisha trilogy. And then I'll go into um, Crooked Kingdom and Six Crows. Those are backwards, flip them. And then I will finish off with um, my Nikolai book which I have not read yet. So I will get to that too. So that's it. As far as what I'm reading so far this month in August, um, I am reading one of player one with my husband because he's here temporarily. He's probably leaving tonight. Um, so he's not gonna finish it, but I will make sure I finish it. And then we have, uh, I'm reading the second book in the Shadow and Bone series. And then I'm reading the last book in the Suki Tech House series. So hopefully some of my rereads will be done coming up here soon and I can move on to something else. Um, I still have a couple other books that I've started but I've never finished um, that I would like to finish and one of them is, okay, so one of the books I need to finish is Champion. I am about that far through it. I have not been reading it lately so I do want to finish this. And then I also want to finish Anne Marie McLemore, that's it. Um, I'm reading When the Moon is Ours. I started reading it for the reading rush and I didn't finish it because I was stuck on the Suki books. So there's a bunch of books I'm hoping I'll be able to read and actually start tackling off my bookshelves to get done this month. Plus me and Chris are talking about possibly starting our own little book club and like reading books together. And I have a book for that too, but I haven't started it yet. So we'll see what happens. Plus I am loosely trying to do the news. <laughs> I'm a mess. Ugh. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go because I am very confused with myself and my lighting keeps going in and out. Hopefully it looks decent and I will talk to you guys later. So I hope you enjoyed my extremely abbreviated July wrap up with my 
13 books that were all rereads. I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye.